The former front man of the rock group Stone Temple Pilots is upset at TMZ for reporting he was in jail even though he wasn't. CBS 2's Louisa Hodge joins us live from Beverly Hills where police thought they had singer Scott Weiland in jail until they figured it out it was somebody else. Louisa. Yeah, and Rick, the big question this morning is how could a mix-up of this magnitude happen? Scott Weiland, former frontman for Stone Temple Pilots, dispelling the rumors and making it clear that this is a matter for his attorneys. Don't worry, don't fret. It's a lie. TMZ, you'll be hearing from my attorneys. Scott Weiland saw his face plastered on TMZ with an article accusing him of stealing razors and possession of meth, claiming he was in jail since July 26. But the real criminal was actually an imposter. The Beverly Hills Police Department says the man arrested told police he was the singer Scott Weiland. But as the real Scott Weiland explained, he was not sitting in a jail cell, but rather pursuing his career. Uh, a nice piece of fiction from TMZ saying that I was in jail and have been for four months. I've actually been touring, writing, and recording. The Beverly Hills Police Department issued a statement saying, quote, police discovered through an FBI fingerprint return that the subject arrested was not Scott Weiland. The fingerprint return positively identified the individual as Jason Michael Hurley. A Hurley is being held right now on $95,000 bail. His charges will now include giving false information to a police officer. Live in Beverly Hills, Louisa Hodge, CBS 2 News.